the book and uh, artistic expression is under threat. Uh, it's interesting that you came back from Jaipur saying it's very much alive and you felt delighted that writing and writers are respected. Yes, I think compared with any country in the world, there's such a commitment to the word, to the world, and to learning in India. Nothing like I ever encounter in England or um, New York City. And of course, those who live in India are much more aware of the threats upon free speech and other freedoms in India. But the fact that people are so engaged about it um, is to me itself invigorating. Where I live in Japan, if there are restrictions, people feel powerless and, and silent. There's, they never rise up and actually speak to their leaders. But I think what I'm talking about mostly is just as a writer, <laughs> One, I feel like I'm on the Titanic, uh, sinking quickly <laughs> under the waves in almost every place. And then when I go to somewhere like the Jaipur Literary Festival, so many people, not just there to enjoy the atmosphere, but actually to engage in discussions and talk about books that they love and want to read. And it's a luxury for a writer that we don't uh, enjoy anywhere else on the planet. And I know all the other foreign visitors I was talking to at Jaipur came away starry-eyed again and amazed. What's going on here? People love books. We thought this was an outdated media.